Blackpink are making a comeback, Jesse parted ways with P Nation, and Dispatch has cleared Nam Joo Hyuk's name in an investigation with his former classmates. But before I get there, let me talk about some other news first. In Hypen released their third mini album, Manifesto Day One, on July 4th, along with the title track titled Future Perfect. This is their second comeback in 2022 after they released their first repackaged album, Dimension Answer, in January. As of July 5th, the album already sold a million copies on Hanto, while more than 700,000 of them were sold on the album's first day of release. This new record has made them the first K-pop group of the fourth generation to have two albums to sell over a million copies in the history of Hanto. Congratulations to Inhypen! GOT7's JB is reported to be in a relationship. On July 7th, Wikitree published a report that JB has been in a relationship with YouTuber and special effects artist Kim Do Hyun for nine months after the two were introduced to each other through an acquaintance. The representative of the two confirmed the report saying, they are cautious as they both have jobs where they're faces are known to the public. They have been maintaining a good relationship for nine months. Please continue to support them. The unexpected is coming as Blackpink are finally scheduled to have a comeback. I know, I know, I couldn't quite believe it myself. It's literally been nearly two years since the group's last comeback, so I can't be blamed for giving up hope altogether. On July 6th, YG released a statement saying, Blackpink will be releasing a new track in August. After much efforts made, we have prepared a Blackpink style music. They also revealed that the Blackpink members are in the final stages of recording the songs for the album and that the filming of the music video will also begin soon. The good news doesn't stop there. YG then added, In order for Blackpink to expand their connection with global fans, they plan to set out for a world tour which will be the largest in scale among all K-pop girl groups. Further, we will consistently continue to hold big projects in synchronization with the large-scale world tour. The comeback news ended up trending on social media, especially on Twitter. Information about the name and the format haven't been released yet, but just the news that it's coming is enough for fans to keep going. Daisy has spilled even more tea on Momoland, and it keeps getting more and more shocking. The trouble between Daisy and MLD Entertainment, the agency behind Momoland, started when she claimed in early 2020 that the survival show Finding Momoland was rigged. Later, she said that because of this, the label forbade her from promoting and asked for over $940,000 in order to terminate her contract. MLD Entertainment then denied the claims about the show being rigged, all the while explaining their reasons why they requested a contract termination. Then, Daisy Daisy was removed from MLD's Entertainment's artist page, and then it was confirmed that she's no longer a Momoland member. But in a recent livestream on TikTok, Daisy spoke about her departure from MLD Entertainment and the group itself. To this point, fans had assumed that she left all on her own and that she paid to have her contract terminated in order to not deal with MLD Entertainment anymore. But then Daisy shocked everyone when she revealed that she was actually fired. She said, guys, for the love of God, I did not leave. I was fired, okay? On the reason why she was fired, she said, I don't know either. Like, like, if I knew, I would have probably unfired myself. I didn't know you could get fired from that. You know what? I didn't know either. Then Daisy made sure to tell fans that she's doing fine now despite everything. She said, It's been so long. Oh my god, it's great. Okay, it's all good. It's a-okay. It's so unfair that she got kicked out of the group just for telling the truth. I hope she gets justice. Jessie has left P Nation after three years of being there. Following the expiration of her contract, P Nation made a statement on July 6th saying, We are informing you our exclusive contract with Jessie recently expired. As she was with P Nation since the beginning as the label's first artist, Jessie secured her position as an artist who's loved by more fans with her warm passion and endless effort. That process and her achievements were a positive and enjoyable source for every member of P Nation. This, of course, shocked everyone. Jessie overall fit the vibe of the company, and the releases she made under P Nation did very well, so people were not expecting her to resign. A commenter wrote, This is unexpected. All the songs she released there got good responses, so I was sure she would resign but Jessie has the skills to do well anywhere she goes. Rumors then started to float around following her departure. Some said that she's establishing her own company just like Jiko had done. Others think that she's going to sign with the record label Antenna. Some even thought that Jessie was retiring altogether, but Jessie decided to put an end to all rumors once and for all. Not only did she clarify that she wasn't retiring from the industry, but she also said that her and P Nation didn't end things on bad terms. She said, I understand people can make assumptions right now based on my current situation, but the truth shall reveal itself in a matter of time. She went on, Please give me some time to collect my thoughts and breathe a bit. I haven't rested since 2005, but one thing for sure is that this girl is not retiring. I'm only getting started. Best of luck to Jessie on her future endeavors. Dispatch has pulled through once again, and we couldn't be more thankful for them. The allegations against Nam Joo Hyuk started piling up, so Dispatch did what they do best and started digging in order to verify or deny these claims. Dispatch stated that when serious claims are made against a celebrity, these claims need to be verified through conversations 
questions and interviews with the informant. But in Joo Hyuk's case, the claims so far have only been statements with little to no physical evidence like school violence committee records and hospital records to support the allegations. However, the original accuser only posted a single picture of the school's yearbook, which made Dispatch suspicious enough to thoroughly investigate the accusations. Dispatch first tried to get in contact with the accuser through the reporter that wrote the original article on Sports Kyunghyang, but their request was denied and only got a response of, the informant's statement is correct. But this wasn't good enough for Dispatch, so they went on to interview 18 people who were students at Namju Hyuk's high school and who were connected to him in some way. The claim that Namju Hyuk and his group of friends had mistreated other students was refuted by 10 students who went to the school. In fact, a former student claimed that their school was so strict that the harasser would be immediately punished by the teachers. They said, Our school at the time had very severe punishments. It was extremely strict. There was never the idea that there was a group of harassers at school. What kind of friend would mistreat someone consistently? If the teachers heard about it, things at school would be crazy. In response to the bread shuttle claims, other students claimed that Joo Hyuk would hang out at the snack bar but didn't order anyone around. A former student responded, Isn't this the situation that the informant is talking about? Where Nam Joo Hyuk can ask someone to buy something for him from the snack bar while they're heading there? This is a common thing. And even Nam Joo Hyuk bought bread for someone who asked him to get them some. There were also claims from the second accuser that Joo Hyuk would force other students to fight, but six former students came out to say that the claims were simply not true. There were times that the male students would wrestle each other jokingly, but Joo Hyuk wasn't even involved in these. As for the claims that Joo Hyuk took the accuser's phones and paid for games with his money without ever paying the accuser back, Joo Hyuk's classmate said that it was another student who had done it, not Joo Hyuk. The last claim the accuser made was that Joo Hyuk had cut him in line at lunch and threw a mechanical pencil lead at him. The story about the mechanical pencil leads was changed by the accuser himself, who claimed that it was a different group who did this, not Nam Joo Hyuk. When it comes to the claims about cutting in line, other students said that it was normal since the boys would occasionally fight to be the first ones to eat. Dispatch stated that while the accuser had every right to be hurt by this, there's no excuse for claiming that Joo Hyuk mistreated them because he cut in line. In addition to this, Dispatch also interviewed two of Joo Hyuk's homeroom teachers who had nothing but good words for him. They remembered Joo Hyuk as nice and kind-hearted. They said that he talked a lot and wasn't the best student, but he would never hurt anyone on purpose. One of the teachers said, I remember him being nice, kind-hearted. He didn't stand out too much. He was an active student in the proper way. He wasn't the best at studying, but he was a student who received a lot of compliments about his character and personality. Don't judge a person's life by a one-sided story. They continued, I'm angry at the spread of maliciously false information. It's right to take responsibility if you do something wrong, but it's wrong to attempt to bury someone with false information. It's amazing that Dispatch has turned into an outlet that is determined to clear the names of those who were wrongly accused of such things, and I'm glad that they took the time to refute all these horrible claims about Joo Hyuk, who doesn't deserve to have his life and career ruined by people who make up rumors on the spot just to destroy everything he has worked for. Let's hope that these interviews are taken into consideration in court and that Joo Hyuk is finally free of these rumors. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much for watching. Bye!